Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Pontius Pilate and his ring. Uh, scripture references out of Luke 23, verses 5 through 7. But they were urgent, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee, even to this place. When Pilate heard this, he asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he learned that he belonged to Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him over to Herod, who was himself in Jerusalem at that time. And that's from Luke 23. So a little historical background on Pontius Pilate. He was the Roman governor over Jerusalem and Israel from 26 AD to 36 AD. Pontius was his family name. Pilate comes from the Latin Pilatus. This means one armed with a javelin. Now, historically, Pilate was not kind to the Jewish people. and He flaunted Roman symbols of power and authority in Jerusalem and in the temple. He stole the temple tax funds once even to build an aqueduct. Jesus knew of Pilate and com commented about his murderous actions. Pilate showed no regard for Jewish lives and temple worship service. Tradition holds worshiping Jews were sacrificed by Romans in the temple. So he had no problem going in and murdering a bunch of Jews, and, but he wants to think that Pilate was just an innocent bystander and all this with Jesus is mistaken. And we get that from Luke 13, verses 1 and 2. There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices, and he answered them, do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? And again, those are the comments of Jesus. He was using Pilate's actions as an example. Um, now, in 36 AD, the governor of Syria, Syria brought charges against Pilate. The historian Eusebius indicated Pilate committed suicide after being sent to Vienne in Gaul. Now, Gaul would be what we consider modern-day southeast France. And we got that bit of information from the Compact Bible Dictionary. So, which brings us to Pilate's ring. Um, now, 50 years ago, a copper alloy ring was found. Not much attention was given to the ring until recently. In 1968 and 1969, archaeologist Gideon Forster led the dig at uh, Herod's burial tomb and palace in Herodium. And that takes us back to this map, and that's this area down here. And it's south of Jerusalem, about oh, roughly 10 miles. Um, and that's where they found this ring. Um now, today, archaeologist Roy Porat requested the ring be cleaned and re-examined. And the ring is nothing fancy or regal. So to look at it, as you can see here, it's not a it's not a big deal. Now, the specific date of the ring is unknown. And the ring was located with other artifacts, including glass, pottery, uh, decorated mud stoppers, uh, tons of metal artifacts, including iron, iron arrowheads, a large number of first Jewish coin, revolt coins. And the find is estimated to be dated no later than 71 AD. And so here's a comment from Roy Porat. Um, important to publish a careful scientific article. But in practice, we have a ring inscribed with the name of Pilate and the personal connection just cries out. And a little background on the last name Pilate. It was very rare in Roman culture. And the family name Pontius was common and central in northern Italy during that era, but the name Pilate was extremely rare. And, and that's from the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. And skeptics just find it hard to believe that Pontius Pilate would have worn the ring of a common citizen. And here's a quote from a bunch of, quote, skeptical authors. Simple all-metal rings, like the Herodium ring, were primarily the property of soldiers, Herodian and Roman officials, and middle-income folk of all trades, and occupation. occupations. Excuse me. It is therefore unlikely that Pontius Pilate, the powerful and rich prefect of Judea, would have worn a thin, all copper alloy ceiling ring. And that's their, their comments. Like, look, this thing's not that fancy. He would have leads them to believe that he would have worn something 
much fancier being the position of power he was in. Porat goes on to say, there's no way of proving either theory 100% and everyone can have his own opinion. It's a nice story and interesting to wrap your head around. Uh, and it is. Uh, and it was found <laughs> at the Herodian National Park, which is Herod's fortress. So a ring with the insignia of Pilate found at Pilate's fortress. Do what you want with it. You've seen it. Do a little investigation. Dig it yourself. See what you think. Uh, if you're interested in these kind of stories, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Uh, you can scroll over here to the right side of the column. Click on the blue bar. Type in your email address, and you can receive an email every time something's put out. Every time we have a post, you'll be notified. We don't sell the email addresses. Uh, also, um, if you're interested in any specific topic or category, we have all kinds of stuff going back upwards of eight, now going on nine years. Um, check them out. I mean, whatever you're interested in. And again, most of this stuff focuses on prophecy and Bible study. So appreciate you guys following along. Hope this finds you doing well and wishing everybody a happy new year. Talk to you later. Bye.